Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at a J2 from the year 2015 called Happy or Sad. Uh, so essentially, real quick, without actually reading the instructions because that takes too long, there's a whole bunch of files here with a whole bunch of random characters. And what we have to do is we kind of have to decipher the files and kind of go through it and see how many happy faces there are and how many sad faces there are. A happy face is represented by a colon dash a closed uh, parentheses and the sad face is represented by a colon dash um, open parentheses. And that's essentially it. Um, so let's have a look how would we go about doing something like this. So I'm going to create a function. I'm going to call it find answer. And this function is going to be of type um, string, obviously. So I'm going to go my string of type string. And we're going to return a string because the what we have to return is if it's uh, our return is going to be either happy or sad. Actually, there's a few returns that we have to do. Um, so output specification. Um, if there's no happy faces or sad faces, we output the word none. Um, if there's an equal amount of happy and sad faces, we say unsure. If there's more happy faces, we say happy. And if there's more sad faces, we say sad. So four words. So I'm going to go var final answer of type string. And um, that's going to be empty right now. But that's what we're going to return. At the end, we're going to return the final answer. And we're going to put one of the four words in final answer based on uh, what we figure out. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create this thing called first. And it's of type bull. And I'll show you why in a sec. And I'm actually going to create three of them first second and um, third and these three variables as you could tell they're all of type boolean and I've initialized them at false I'm also going to create a um, happy count because I need to count how many there are of type int equals zero and var sad count of type int equals zero. I'm gonna count how many happy and sad faces there are. Okay, great, so I think we're done with the initial setup. It gives me a whole bunch of warnings that I haven't used any of these variables. I will very soon. So real quick, we're gonna go um, a simple for, uh, for loop. So for index in my string. And as you all know how for loops work, if I hold the option key on my Mac and click on index, this is character. This is of type character. Why? Because my string is obviously of type string. So I'm iterating through that sequence of the string. I'm going letter by letter by letter, character by character by character. So the index takes on the form of a character. So and I'm going to have a few if statements here. I'm going to the first if statement, I'm going to say if index equals equals false. Nope. what am I saying? If first equals equals false, then go ahead and um, figure out, uh, execute this if statement. And in this if statement, I'm going to have an if statement. If index equals equals, and that's an obviously equality operator, if it has the um, colon sign, if it has the colon sign, sorry, give me a second, if it has the colon sign, then go ahead and make first to true and continue on with the program. OK, so that's my first if statement. And then my second if statement is if first equals equals true and a second equals equals false, then go ahead and do another check if index index equals equals and obviously it's the dash, then go ahead and uh, make second true. And then our last if statement, so that's our first if statement, that has an if statement, so that's our first if statement, that has an if statement, that's our second, that has an if statement. And then our third if statement, um, if first equals equals true, um, sorry, if yes, if first equals equals true and second 
equals equals true then go ahead and do a check if index equals equals the close bracket go ahead and happy count increment that by one else if index well index equals equals the open bracket then go ahead and increment sad count by one okay and um, now what we're gonna do is first equals false and I'm gonna put all of this in one line you could actually do this all in uh, multiple lines but I could combine everything in one line by using semicolons because Swift is a C-based language and does support semicolons for multiple lines. Whoops, that's not true, that's false. So let's read what I've done here. I'm like 80% done here. So I've created three Boolean values and essentially what I've said is, uh, listen, if first is false, all right? So if this first thing is false, go ahead and do this check and check if the current character that we're at, that we're iterating through is actually a colon. If it is, Go ahead and make first true and then continue with this and then we move on if first is true well guess what first is going to be true if the uh, if this is a colon and um, sorry so, so we continue on so we move on to the next we move on to the next character in the loop and uh, we see first is false no it isn't because we've changed it to true so we move on to this well if first is true it is and second is false we're going to check for the second character if it has a dash if that's the case, then we're going to go ahead and um, uh, 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 make a second true. Actually, I missed something here. I have to press continue here. Now, you have to understand, continue essentially says, all right, get out of this iteration. Move on to the next iteration. So if we found that the first character has a colon, we make first true and we continue on with the iteration. And then... Uh, the first is not going to check anymore because we know that the first is true. We have the first letter. So first, second, and third represents whether the characters um, are true or not in, in the sequence that we want them to be in for a happy or sad face. So we do the check, second check, and the second check is always a, call, um, a dash, sorry, in either a happy or a sad face. So we do the same thing. We say true, uh, make second true. Um, and go ahead and continue to the third. So we move on to the third iteration. We go on one more iteration in the for loop. And we and, and obviously this doesn't go through and this doesn't go through anymore because these uh, if conditions don't match. And then the third iteration, uh, on, on the third if statement, we say if first is true and second is true, okay, well, that's true. We check if it's actually this or that. Um, if it's neither, then nothing happens. But if it's this, we add one happy face and if it's that we add one to the sad face and then by the end of every um, uh, loop uh, by the end of every iteration if it doesn't hit a continue uh, we reset everything to false because that means we didn't uh, we didn't get any of the characters that we anticipated it was just some random character that has nothing to do with a happy or sad face like the letter L for example okay so by the end of this code, we should have a number in happy count and sad count um, uh, um, telling us how many happy faces and sad faces there are in the string, in the file. Cool. Um, and now all we have to do is a simple if statement to kind of figure out um, what we're going to output. So we're going to say if happy, uh, if happy count equals equals zero and sad count equals equals zero because that's the possibility go ahead and make final answer to none right so if there's none if there's zero happy faces and zero sad faces we're going to output none else if a uh, happy count is equal equal to sad count then we're going to say the final answer well, final answer is going to output unsure because essentially there's the same amount of happy and sad faces. Else if happy count is greater than sad count, so there's more happy faces than sad faces, we're gonna have a final answer of 
happy. And finally, an else statement. We're going to say final answer equals sad because obviously there's no other option than sad, facing, uh, sad faces being more than happy faces. And that's essentially it. And that uh, should solve the problem. Uh, now I've got uh, five files here, file three, four, five, six, and seven, which I got from the Waterloo CCC website. These are the ends. I've converted them here, um, put them in these variables. So all we have to do is really run my uh, function called find answer and put file three here for example and i'm going to copy and paste that five times and i'm going to change file three to file four oh. file four i'm going to change this to file five i'm going to change this to six and i'm going to change this to seven and if we run this we should get the outputs happy, sad, or none. Um, let's go ahead and run this. There we go. Unsure, happy, happy, sad, sad. And if we actually look at the files, this makes sense. So the first one's unsure. And the reason it's unsure because there is one happy face, uh, one sad face, one happy face, one happy face. So two happy faces extra, one sad face, one sad face. So the same amount. Three happy faces, three sad faces. That's why. In 2.4, we got one happy face. That's why our answer was happy. And here we have a happy face, a sad face, a happy face, so two versus one. Here we've got one sad face, that's why it's sad. And we've got one sad face, two sad faces, and one happy face, that's why two versus one, sad. So if you run this again, you'll see unsure, happy, happy, sad, sad. And that's that. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.